Hello lovely people. This is the part 2 of my experiment. I will show you the first and second day progress. Our eggs already hatched after 24 hours. As you can see, there's a lot of Norpley swimming around, the first stage of many crustaceans including brine shrimp. We don't need to feed them yet. We can start feeding on the second day. I will try to focus my camera so we can see them clearly. This is the stage that they are very nutritious if you want to feed them to your fry, especially for egg layer fishes. Also very popular to the saltwater community, as Artemia or brine shrimp is a saltwater crustaceans. So they are the best life food for saltwater fishes. But since most of us don't have access to Daphnia and Moila, for our freshwater fishes, this is the best alternative for our fry as first food. You can see the egg shells floating above, and maybe some unhatched eggs as well. We can start the feeding tomorrow. So this is it for our first day. We successfully hatched our brine shrimp eggs after 24 hours. See you tomorrow lovely people. Stay safe. Good morning everybody. This is the second day of my Artemia project. As you can see, there's not much growth yet, but we can now start feeding them with spirulina. And we don't have much evaporation either, so nothing to do for the moment. We will just give some food. Just a small amount of spirulina is enough. I will put just enough to create a thin layer of film. I will try to avoid overfeeding as I can. We will try to focus again our camera, so we can see it clearly. As you can see, they already start eating the spirulina. This is the time when the water circulation is a must. It will help spread the food into water column so it's easier for baby brine shrimp to consume. In my experience it's advisable not to use a very fine air stone. Same as Daphnia, very fine bubbles will stick to them and they will float and die. This is it for today guys. Hope you stay with me so together we can learn something about Artemia or Brian Shrimp. Let us see if we can grow them into adults in this small environment. As promised, I will update every other day about the progress. See you in the next part of this series. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.